So um, Cambridge and Oxford have quite different interview processes. Um, so at Cambridge, you are told in about the end of November that you're coming down for interview and you've got scheduled interviews. So they tell you you've got interviews at this time and it's all at the, the, the college that you applied to and nowhere else. You don't go to a different college for interview. Um, and depending where you come from, they can put you up for a night in college, uh, give you a meal. And that's about it. So it's really, you go just you go down for the interviews. They're often back to back. They're often quite quickly done and then leave again. Um, so in terms of preparation for my interviews, um, what I did was there isn't very much specific interview preparation. I'd say more that just get as familiar with maths problem solving as possible, doing step questions, doing math questions, doing any admissions test questions, or going online and finding like interview questions, um, Oxbridge interview questions. There's a host of problems out there that you can solve and it's at the right level. And they're supposed to be sort of, uh, supposed to take five, 10 minutes, uh, 10, 15 minutes with a bit of a hint sometimes. So don't go for the super long ones, but go for things that are sort of quite quick and make sure that you get really used to explaining things to other people. I think that's the most important thing with interviews, not just doing the problem yourself and doing it in your head, but being able to write out um, the solution and explain to somebody else why you're doing each step that you're doing um, and thinking out loud is the main thing because they're not assessing just your, um, like your ability, but they're assessing your potential and whether you're teachable or not. And yeah, so I had three interviews, a general interview and then two maths interviews. Um, so the maths interviews were basically, they sort of shot maths questions at me and I solved them. And they're not trying to trick you, they're actually trying to help you. I think that's one of the things I learned in my interview is that they do give you a nudge in the right direction and give you a hint if you are stuck and don't be afraid to ask for a hint if you really are stuck. And take the advice they give you, they're not trying to trick you. So at uh, Oxford, yeah, the interview process, uh, you normally you, it's, you find out at the end of November. You go in about mid December, and for me at least, I stayed three nights in Oxford. So the college you apply to, or unless you do an open application, they you, you stay there for three days. Normally, you have two interviews at the college you apply to, uh, and then you might get pulled, which means you go to another college and have uh, a different interview there. Uh, and the interviews themselves are normally half an hour long. Uh, one of mine was something that's a bit rare for Oxford. We were given a set of problems beforehand that we had to work through and then in the actual interview we just discussed them and uh, I, I noticed some, some of the questions on there were actually some step questions that I'd seen since and things like that uh, so that's definitely very good practice for that uh, and yeah they do give you hints if you're if you're stuck on something or if you do something silly they will say oh did you mean that and they are just genuinely trying to make you realize that you, you should have done something slightly differently uh, to prepare for the interviews I asked my math teacher who did maths at Cambridge uh, to give me a, a mock interview so I sat down I went through it and it was really just to practice, uh, as, as you said, you need to say the why, you need to explain why you're doing stuff, make it clear what's going through uh, through your head. Uh, and actually in my mock interview I, I said some pretty stupid stuff, but it was really good just to have got one, uh, just because it meant that I knew what I was meant to do and then neither of my parents do anything at all maths related, but I would kind of just talk maths at them to try and make them understand what was going on uh, in order to practice the interviews, so that, that was very helpful as well.